Uh, Makere is, is a guy who was born in Matatiele, uh, Kinsutu. I was born in rural areas. That's, that's where I literally grew up. And filmmaking was anything, was literally non-existent. Uh, where I grew up, I didn't even know like being a director is a career that even existed. I was, I was at Vets University and I was applying for work. You know, and I was applying for jobs and I wasn't getting any, any work, no jobs or anything, you know. But then I was a radio DJ at for Voice of Vets. So what I did with the radio show was that I invited all the guys that I wanted to hustle when I graduate. So that by the time I leave, they kind of know me, which happened to be the guy who was Fungai, who was the content producer, the guy who founded the first hip hop magazine. And so Fungai, at that time I used to be a rapper. He was like, yo, I've got this show, now I'm a producer on Shiznes, do you want to come in as a rapper? I was like, nah, man, I actually don't want to come in as a rapper. I'm looking for a job, dog. Went for the interview, I had no TV experience except pilots, but what I had over the other guys who had TV experience was that I knew the hip-hop culture. So that's how I got it. The other guys had more experience than me. So when I got in, I was clueless on what, on what I was doing. I was catching up with these guys that went after, were, you know, like they use this jagged, you know, like, and that whole time you're like, yo, oh, I don't know what they're talking about, but I need to, <laughs> I need to learn, you know, and yeah, then they allowed me to direct. They were crazy enough to allow me to direct. I had no experience in directing. And I remember the camera guy, Annika was telling us like, yo, you know, just take care of him, you know, and everything. And that guy was actually very disrespectful, you know, like he, he was like just doing his own thing. You have to find your own style as a director. You have to find your own voice, your own aesthetics, like your own. And it, it's very difficult to find that in a, in, a, in a room full of noise. It's like, I always ask myself, am I happy with the project? If I'm happy with it, I'm proud of it. Cool, I'm happy. And sometimes there's certain projects where they, they, they offer like different, like they, they serve different purposes. Some projects you shoot them for money to keep the lights on because you're running a business. Some projects you shoot them, they are passion projects. Some projects you shoot them for, for specific reasons. So sometimes internally you tick those boxes. But sometimes when people watch certain things, they're like, ah, you know, I could have done this way, but you're like, no, the objectives were met. This is what the client wanted. Three, two, one, action. Show this. Nice. I have no idea what makes a good director. Sometimes you could watch the worst thing that from a ticking box, like lighting was horrible, camera movement was horrible, but it spoke to you. Then would you say that's a bad piece? You can't, you know? And, and sometimes you see something that ticks all the right boxes. Where you're like, oh, lighting, great. Styling, great. Makeup, great. Did he speak to me? No, he didn't. If you're proud of it and happy with it, fuck, you're a great director. Other people hate their jobs. Like, I love my job. It has its ups and downs. It's not as glamorous, but imagine not being in a place where I'm doing something and I don't love. So those are the things that I really, really appreciate. I would love of work that one day it gets referenced 20 years from now and and i'm hoping that one day it could be corner it could be you know it could be stripped down it could be the hustle it could be creative union and for me i would i would love for one day you know like kids are referencing your work 